We are in sunny, it's a sunny day here in La Jolla, and right behind me is uh, Cargo Records, or or Headhunter Records, whichever you want to call it. Um, we're going to go inside there and, and see what makes Headhunter Records tick. So, let's go, come on. Now, as we can see, there's a, a, a lot of, uh, a lot of, hustle and bustle going on in here right now as you can see everybody's hopping around doing their, doing their job i mean we've got lots of decorations on the wall we got swivel neck we've got heavy vegetable um big old cargo thing on the wall let's wander down the hall and see who we can bother i can hear uncle joe's playing it's coming it's coming from in here something more something more and let this ride out. Let's get some of this. We're bothering people right now, by the way. I think we'll talk to this gentleman right here if he's not busy. Are you busy right now? No, Okay, who, who, who? Ooh, I like Sassy. I love Sassy, personally. I won't go into the reasons why I like it, but I do. Hey, what's your name? Larry. And what do you do here? Uh, I help Brian out and Robbie out in promotion. Exactly. What do they ask you to do? Uh, all the piss work. All the piss work. So there's no sexual favors involved. The piss boy of the office, I guess you could say. So basically, what, what is, what's an average day for you here at uh, Headhunter Cargo? I'm calling about 80 stations, um, organizing tour, um, posters, flyers, all that kind of good stuff. And then mailing, doing commercial mailings and all that kind of good stuff. Cool. So what, what bands do you like that's on, on the Headhunter label? What are you, like your favorites? Uncle Joe's is one of my favorite bands. And uh, Heavy Vegetable, definitely. Actually, there's a lot of good stuff on Headhunter. We could see what we listen to right here. What, what, all, what all do you have? Taking a look here, the, the private collection. Wow. Locket, Color Fat, Snooze. Um, Morning Glories. Morning Glories, who are playing tonight. Yeah, and I, I might be getting on the list. I don't know. I hope I do, because I'd like to see that we show. We get on the list. So we all have to get on the list. Um, you don't mind if we're going to move on, so. Okay, go They're kicking this out, actually, maybe so. Maybe, uh, maybe you should talk to Brian right over here. Talk to Brian right over here. I'm sure he has a few uh, things to say. <laughs> does, does Brian want to talk to us? What, what would you like to say to everybody that's watching right now? Um, that I have a broken leg, and I haven't showered in about three days, and my B.O. probably smells like Fumanda cheese. That's why they have a fan going in here right now. Pretty, Check that out. Pretty stinky. Larry likes it, though. I've noticed that he's kind of like up, up wind from you. Right, right, yeah. It's, it's very, good. Very smart. Very you good. know, I'm starting to smell like Dave Jazz from Uncle Joe's, which is pretty cool. We're, we're starting to resemble each other here. Here pretty quick, so. Actually, you know, we were supposed to have uh, a border maker do a bungee jump for us for our show today, but they bailed out, and right now we're trying to get a hold of Dave Jazz to do it. Really? You think? Oh, I'm sure he did. Actually, we're trying to find somebody that's on Headhunter that'd like to come down to Air Boingo and do it. But his, his leg's a little messed up. Right? Actually, I talked to him about a long time ago. He says not into that macho stuff. Not into He's not into that MTV sports thing. You know who would be, though? Who? <laughs> Hank Rollins. He's MTV sports. We're gonna move on here, so thanks. <laughs> thanks for thanks for talking to us. We're gonna go bother somebody else. Okay, go right ahead. Bye bye. Let's go this way. And uh, we have to be very quiet here. We have someone on the phone. I don't know who this is, but he's wearing those psychic, psychic warriors. Uh, we don't know what he's doing. Actually, it's my personal opinion that he's just running up the phone bill. He's not doing anything constructive. He's calling. He's finding out where all the hot party parties are at. Look at him. He's having fun. He's trying not to laugh. <laughs> okay, let's, let's leave him alone. He's going to flip us off at any given moment. Going through here. Here's their bathroom. Let's, let's see how clean they keep their bathroom. Where's the light? There it is. See? It looks good. That's a clean bathroom. Toilet's clean. Sink is clean. Oh, yeah. It's all good. <laughs> let's get out of here. And, uh... To go from here. Hey, look at that guy back there. He's still, he's still thinking. He still thinks he's off the hook, but not quite. Can you see him in there? Can you see him in there? He's, he's just. He, there he is. We don't know who he is, but uh, he's working. He's calling 976 line. See, he's smiling. He, he doesn't think. Anyway, let's leave him alone. Let's go. Uh, 
Let's go. Can I talk to you for a second? Where, um, who are you? I'm Sharon Goodis. Oh, Sharon Goodis. That's she's related to uh, Laura and no, I Eric. Eric, Eric Goodis, Eric's wife. Eric owns cargo. Okay. Um, wow. Ooh, this is impressive. Look at this. Thank you. Is it? Did you do all this yourself? Oh yeah. Wow. Do you ha do you have like like let me get over over here? Do you have like almost like the entire collection here? Would no, you say? There's so many more out there, but I have uh, what's currently available and some that is not available in the United States that are only available outside of of here. And uh, I have people looking for them from me everywhere. I go to swap meets and scrounge around. Yeah, it's fun. Do you like most of the bands that are on like Headhunter and Cargo? And what what are your favorite bands that are on this on, on the label? Uh, I'm. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> That's a tough question. Yeah. No, I like, I like Uncle Joe's. I like um, uh, so all the bands. I mean, I really enjoy going to all the shows and seeing them. Are, are you going to see them tonight at Caswell? Unfortunately, not tonight. Uh, not tonight. tonight. No, but I went last week. I mean, we're always hanging around the Caswell. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. You should go to Dave's house sometime. It's really, it's really a nice place. Yeah. He's got a nice balcony that oversees Kenner. No okay, well, you should invite her, Dave. It's, this is Eric's wife. You better better be good to her, because if you don't, you're out of here, pal. You're going to end up on, well, I'm not going to say anything. Well, we're going to take off here. Okay, it's nice meeting you. Okay. We're going to go bother somebody else. Okay. That's okay. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. See, from what I heard, Dave Jass's brother works They're in this receiving area some somewhere, and wanted me to come back here and say, keep down with the free stuff. Wrong brother. Wrong brother. So we'll leave. Right. Andrew's brother. I'm sorry. Does anybody here want to do a bungee jump at 4.30 down Air Boingo? Our Boilermaker bail on us and now we need somebody to bungee. Sean, you want to bungee jump? Hell no. Carl might do it. Where? Air Boingo, off the 163, 430? 163? Yeah. Are you guys going to film it? Yeah. Maybe we should get band members to bungee jump. Well, I know. We had Boilermaker, but they flaked on us. I didn't collect my last one. And, uh... Have you spoken with Eric Goodies? No, I haven't. He would be willing to bungee jump. Well, let's go Let's go talk to the guy. I mean, we need somebody. I mean, we got to be leaving okay. here, so let's go. Come on, let's... Who's going to bungee jump? I know. That's what we're trying to find out. Who's going to bungee jump? Boilermaker yeah. flaked on us. Who's going to bungee jump? Who's going to bungee? Well, Rob... Uh, let's find out. We need somebody. We're not leaving until somebody bungee jumps. <laughs> oh. So, so Boilermaker was supposed to be Yes, Boilermaker is going on tour tonight. and They can't do it now. Did they book their own tour? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. They're going to be going up to San Francisco, I think all the way up to like Washington. I think they're rendezvousing with like Heavy Vegetable and Three Mile Pilot in San Francisco, I think. Yeah, I think. Don't, don't quote they, me. They have but a couple more shows. I think Heavy Vegetable uh -huh. um, has uh -huh. tomorrow and Sunday and then there's just like the last days and we need somebody to bungee jump. I don't have, bungee jump. I don't have any suggestions. I'm trying to be Because Because Robbie called Dave Jass, I called John Lee. Um, he tried through Mop Pilot, but he's yeah, dead gone, obviously. Um, I don't know. So somebody who's in San Diego, he suggested Swivel Neck, but they're like up in North County. And I don't know. So I just, I don't want to do it by myself. I want somebody else. <laughs> You Can you imagine Harley? Exactly. I know. I, I have a call into Deadpool, but I don't know what I think today is. So Talk about short notice. I mean, we're going to be doing, we're supposed to do this at like 4.30. So, I still don't know. yeah. I don't if I had numbers, I would call. Well, who, who do you need to call? I, I would call anybody. I mean, any, any, Deadpool, I don't care who it is. I think of anything. Uh, you know, okay. Still the okay. She's... We're in trouble. All the bad band photos that they got. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wish somebody would bungee jump for us. I wonder if Jeff Mach would do it. I oh, a nice little display here. They've got a... Uh, We've got Chun with the hit song Mel Brown. We've got Mud on the Wheel with um, Heavy Vegetable. 
Jackie Starr of uh, Contra Gear. Um, Lesser. <laughs> we got Heavy Vegetable. Amazing Undersea's Adventures of Aqua Kitty and Friends. Morning Glories from New York. Uncle Joe's Big Old Driver. Creedle. Expect a new album from Creedle. This is uh, Half Man, Half Pie. They got a new album coming out, hopefully in, uh, I don't know, September. Live from the Caswell. This is, this is, this is a very cool album. This, these are 15 or so bands recorded live at the Caswell. Fluff, Drip Tank, Dead Bolt, Uncle Joe's, A Miniature, Turn Out Pilot Rust, so forth and so on. It goes on forever. You wouldn't believe it. It's, it's, it's very good. It's great. What else they got here? Deadbolt, Shrunken Head. They've got a new album coming out. It's called uh, Tiki Man and a side, uh, uh, a side project called The Strangers. I know Tiki Man's coming out on Headhunter, but I don't know about The Strangers. We'll, we'll see about that. That's going to be, that's going to be quite a, quite a, quite a release. Dude, you should jump, Larry. Dude, that guy hey, needs no. a ton. Larry should jump, wearing his color fast shirt. I'm going to go to the store and buy some beer. That's the MD at KCR. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, and he, he makes up all his playlists week after week. That's cool. Maybe we can come down to KCR and you can talk yeah. to us and we can... Yeah, if you wanted to. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to do that. That's a note. You know, a college radio station is really run. A real radio station. With real music. With real music. Where we play local music uh, 24 hours in rotation. And that's KCR. <laughs> Not like 91X. <laughs> For free. Um, K K K KCR, very, very good station. Very hip station at San Diego State, very hip. The only problem is one cable radio. So you guys listen to KKSM, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. KKSM, that's on Dimension Cable. Yeah, Dimension on uh, North County. North County, North County. Right. Well, hopefully in the future we'll be going to K we'll be checking out KCR on uh, Leche, but we'll see. And then, uh, I think he wanted to, uh, he wanted to do a little yeah. bungee jumping and bust his other leg. Yeah. He did one, but it wasn't quite successful. Actually, I did. Larry did this. Uncle Joe's is a Larry will explain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was Jay in it with Brian. I, I, uh, Jing isn't jaywalking, of course. No, jaywalking. Jing and I fell down the stairs. <laughs> and I You're jaywalking, right? No. Jaywalking, and, and then we heard <laughs> We heard ourselves. That's why you, gotta, you should always use crosswalks when you're going across the street. And always follow, always follow the light exactly. when it's green. green. Don't try to walk on red. Exactly. Uh, things don't look good here. Um, it's like nearing 4 o'clock. We don't have anybody to bungee jump. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dang. That is crazy. Whoa. <laughs> Well, here it is in action. We, we, were, we were looking at it earlier. It's the, uh, the quote-unquote mail room where they, where they put things, postage. Yes, we're going to have a demonstration of how the whole thing... Can you get a really tight close-up on the postage meter here? Okay, yeah. Depending on how much postage you actually want to uh, transfer to one of these, you, uh, something like that. And of course, you have to check the date make sure that the date is right. Today is uh, July 15th, if I'm not mistaken. When you close that, you hit the screen button, and then you're ready to go. Of course, because I don't really need that amount of postage, I won't pull down this lever, which means one of these would come out. It's already sticky, so you put it on the package and, and stamp it first class, and then off it goes. And you stamp first class on there with a little and you're off. There he goes. He's going to go mail it right now. There he goes. He's walking out. There he goes. Bo is red and you are blue. You hate everything and I love you too. Bo is red and you are blue. You hate everything and I love you too.